and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 minutes code where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of read code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes. Okay, so today's problem of the day is new year resolution which is a medium level problem and uh, I also think the same. So let me explain you what does this problem say. Okay, so as uh, the clock is still midnight on a new year's eve, geek bid farewell to the wasted moments of 2023. Okay, so yeah, we all have wasted a lot of moments. So long thing short, I'm going to explain you what this problem wants. We will be given an int n which will be the length of array and coins with that will be our array and in coins we will be having the indexes like uh, at zero index there will be five coins at one index there will be eight coins at two index there will be nine coins at three index there will be ten coins in that way so each index integer is representing the number of coins and what we have to do we have to find out if we can get a sum if we can get a sum divisible by 20 or 24 or sum equal to 2024 okay so return true or false okay so that's that's the thing that's a single statement problem uh, let's skip this all these things i think you already have read all these statements okay so we have to pick one coin we can either skip one index or not and we can if we have to pick we will be picking all the coins at that index okay so suppose i pick zero index so i will get five coins after that i missed i skipped the first index and then again i came at the ninth index so third index so 5 9 14 and then 24 okay so in this way we have to find out so if we can get a sum at any point of time if we can get a sum equal to 20 or 24 or the sum becomes 222024 in that point i will return true otherwise if we cannot get in all the cases by all the tries if we cannot get this condition accepted so we will return false i think that's it and uh, you will be thinking that we you already have solved this problem yeah you have guessed it right it's a zero one knapsack problem okay so it's just a variation of that so i think the problem statement will be clear now and uh, we will be solving it with the help of code so we, first of all i'm going to write the memoized code and the recursive code and after that i'm going to memoize the code okay so let's start uh, we will be having let's say let's write the find let's write the function find which will be having two things first one is the current index second is the current sum and third is the coin setting okay so this is our function static we have to return boolean so let's take boolean find first is my index second is my sum and uh, third is my in array integer array coins all right so what will be our base cases as i already explained what are our base cases if my sum equals 20 no sorry sum is greater than zero first of all and then sum modulus 20 equal to zero or sum modulus 24 equal to zero or my sum equals to 2024 okay in that way in that case what i'm going to do i'm going to have written true it means i've got a case otherwise if i've traversed all the indexes if i've traversed all the indexes that means index is greater than or equal to coins dot length okay in that case i will return false because i haven't found any case where these conditions can get satisfied okay now otherwise what i'm going to do at one point i'm going to pick that coin pick that coins and uh, include it to the sum and in the second way i'm going to skip that so simply return find function and i'm going to increase the index all the times let's suppose i'm going to pick that index so sum if i'm going to pick this so sum plus coins of index and uh, coins array will be as it is otherwise i am not picking i'm not adding that coins so in that way in index i am going to increase always but sum will be as it is and coins okay uh, that is it let's try to compile it but 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 if you will see oh let's first of all let me run it okay one i'm also solving it for the first time by the way but it will be giving tle i think oh 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 it gets passed it passed like this only okay so no need of memorizing it but let me explain it as well that as well so if you will see that what's the time complexity of it so at every point i'm having two choices okay i'm having two choices so it will be two days to the power of coins dot length let me know into the comments if i'm explaining it wrong but i think two into coins dot length will be at because at every point of time i am having two choices so how can we change it 
we can memorize it because uh, by using a 2D array. How? Because if you will see at every find function calling, only two things are changing. The first one is index and second one is sum. So if I get a Boolean array of let's say DP new Boolean and here first thing will be my n coins dot length and uh, second one is 2024. Now you will be wondering what is this 2025. So maximum sum maximum sum can be 2024. Okay, so if I'm having an array of 2025, I can do the thing. So here uh, I'm passing this DP here. I'm accepting this. It's one o'clock in the night. I'm making the video. Okay, so DP here passing DP here as well. Now I'm going to use how I'm going to check it. So if at any point of time, my DP and it's my index and sum. Okay, if it is not equal to null, it means I have assigned something either true or false. So I'm going to return that TP index and sum. Okay, either true or false. So if I had, like suppose I have I've reached at two index and my sum is five. Okay, now if at any other point of time, let's suppose I have reached tenth index and my sum is fifteen. Okay, now if at any other point of time Again, I got a 10th index, okay, and my sum is 15. So I know that moving further, I cannot get because at once we have reached there and I've got the false, okay. I've got the false. So now next time I'm not going to go do this. So I will simply return this false. So that's what DP does. It's memorizing it and uh, so that we cannot have to go through the same path again and again, okay. And otherwise, I'm going to store it here. DP of index and sum equal to, okay. Uh, that's it. I think let's submit it. And one more thing if you haven't, if you don't know DP yet, okay. Oh, hmm. cool. okay. So now I think it will be getting accepted. Let's check this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's submit it. So if you don't know DP yet, it's okay. We have already solved it using Dickerson, so it's fine. Uh, and if you know DP, so it's great. Zero one knapsack. If you don't know, please don't forget to go through those questions as well and if you love the solution of it please don't forget to like share and subscribe because i'm making this video at 1 a.m into the night okay and uh, yeah that's it that was the new year resolution problem and uh, i hope you have enjoyed it and please let me know into the comments what's your new year resolution and how are you going to fulfill it and with that the 2023 season comes to an end